Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 6th of February 2020 and the time has just gone 11.40 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is an old favourite of mine, Palladium. Uh, the metal has been on a very impressive run uh, in, the, in the last number of months. Uh, we saw a fairly sizable pullback in late January. Kind of coincided with the um, the fears that were that, were, that are rippled across all financial markets in relation to the uh, coronavirus crisis, which has largely hit China. China is a major importer of various different metals. Uh, China is a large component of global demand for everything from from vehicles to luxury brands, you name it. So anything that the fear was, if China's economy is going to slow down, that's going to impact everything essentially. Uh, so. If you take a look at the price action, we can see that Palladium has been on a massive run for quite some time. Uh, I know in hindsight is 2020, as the, as the saying goes, but if you take a look, uh, you know, a series of all-time highs were achieved here in mid to late January. We can see here that the long wick on this camp here denotes indecision. Of course, after after that, we saw a fairly sizable sell-off and a pullback. We've seemed to have found a base in around this zone. Uh, yesterday, the market uh, managed to create a gap to the upside. Now, gaps don't always get filled, but they often do get filled. Um, and if a, a gap to the upside would suggest activity is bullish. So we could be on, on uh, we could potentially look to retest the recent record highs in around 2,427. And if we go beyond that, traders will then be, you know, will be a new uh, record high territory and traders will be looking out for levels such as 2,150, 2,500, so on and so forth. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is that could we see a further rally uh, in the uh, price of palladium? Like, like I said, tensions or fears rather in relation to what's going on in the health crisis in China um, have tapered off. We've had interbank intervention from the uh, Chinese Central Bank recently. Um, overnight, um, China announced plans to reduce tariffs on $75 billion worth of U.S. imports. That's kind of acted as a nice kind of uh, boost um, to the financial markets. Some of the fear factor in relation to the health crisis has tapered off on the back of that. So we could see palladium um, push on higher from here. So if you do take off the recent all-time highs, we could be looking at targeting 24 50 and 20 or 2500 moves to the downside could find some support from this area here where the graph where the gap is created um, down towards 2288 or potentially up to 2191 this kind of zone here uh, even if you go below that you find a, a bit of consolidation in around the 2200 mark and even if you break below the lows of late January in a 2000 153 even if we break below that we still be in the upward trend because we're still miles away from this blue line here the 50 moving average which comes into play at uh, 2023 notice how that metric acted nicely as support in mid-november and also in late december so the metric has been important in the past it makes it more likely in being of importance in the future although there are no guarantees now i take a quick look at what's going on on platinum because platinum and palladium um, often move in, this, in the same direction and one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other which basically means if markets that are fairly similar um, 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 are, sim are, high, are reasonably correlated if both markets are moving in the same direction you can be more confident that that is going to continue obviously there are no guarantees so we saw here a decent rise in the platinum price throughout late 2019 in January of this year it went on to hit a level uh, which is nearly a three-year high, not quite a three high. The metal has subsequently pulled back, found support from its 50-day moving average, and appears and has pushed higher, and it could be on its could be on on on, a, on on its way to retest its recent high. So while platinum is pushing higher, you can be more confident that palladium is pushing higher as well. Now, if you are trading palladium or any of the financial markets, it is worth noting that tomorrow is non-farm perils day. In fact. I myself am hosting a webinar tomorrow at 13.15 GMT. It can be found on our website. If you go to cmcmarkets.com under insights, under news and analysis, you'll see the webinars and events. It it's, uh, starts tomorrow at 13.15 GMT. The figures come out at 13.30 GMT. Uh, and also the, the video itself, if you can, tune in for the live uh, webinar 
the video itself will be posted to the insights section of our trading platform it'll also be updated to our youtube channel as well well that's all for me this week um thank you for listening and have a good trading week